Someone asked me in the comments if I believe in deloading. You know, so basically training for a period of time and then taking a whole week off, not training at all, not doing anything. And again, this is really an individual choice. I have to say though, myself, through most of my years of com competitions and when I was competing and things, I never took a week off or, or a month off unless I had an injury or something happen where I had no choice. You know, like I had tweaked my back or tweaked something, trying to lift too heavy or trying to do too extreme a range of motion, you know, trying to, to mimic other people or whatever because they said, hey, that's the right way and then boom, something would happen, you know. And in those cases, I would take, you know, two weeks off or a month off or something, uh, but it was more like active rest because I would still get in some body part or workout somehow most of the time. And that's what worked for me. You know, I found that if I kept on being active, it seemed to work better. Now that said, if I was a person that trained heavy all the time, like super low reps uh, and high intensity, and that was just the way that seemed to work best for me, then I could see a real necessity to take a week off and just not do anything, you know, for periods of time, just to let the ligaments and the bones, you know, the, the real deep tissue uh, heal. Because it's one thing for muscles to recover. Muscles have a tendency to recover faster than ligaments and tendons. Now, the reason why is because muscles have more blood supply than your ligaments do, okay? That's what, that's what is told to me anyway. That's why ligaments are white and, you know, muscles have more blood. Like there's, there's blood in there, red, you know, it's, it's a, a pinky type color, right? Eat a steak, you'll see, right? But the fact is, is that there's not as much uh, blood supply in the ligaments and stuff. So, you know, if your ligaments start to basically degenerate or take a beating or take some wear and tear and the muscles are taking wear and tear, but the muscles are recovering and the ligaments just are never actually catching up then you know you have a recipe for disaster at some point you will have an injury so i can see how a deloading or taking time off will assist you with just allowing some of the deeper healing to continue in the body and i would say under a deload and i'm not sure if this is the way it works but under a deload i'd say doing light exercise such as like light cardio like just spinning on a bike at a really low intensity just to help pump the blood through the area I think would probably be very effective in helping your recovery. So that way when you get back into training, not only will you have the cardio to be able to push yourself muscularly wise, but you will also be helping pump the blood through the system and clear out inflammation and at the same time heal, you know, any injuries or any deeper stuff that's going on in the body. So yeah, do I agree with deloading? Yeah, I mean, I think it could be a very effective tool. Again, it has to do with the individual's needs at the time, right? That's why there's such thing as strength coaches and things because a coach will work directly with a person and say, okay, this is what you need. Although, you know, Bob, over here needs something different John might need a totally different type of training program because his body's responding differently okay so do I believe in it yes I do I do believe in deloading under certain circumstances and to share with you a story that I know there were a lot of guys that I knew when I was training in natural bodybuilding and working out hard and I was very consistent I was like the you know five to six day a week guy and I never missed you know it, it could be Christmas Day it could be Christmas day and I was in the garage working out, making sure I got my workout in and making sure that everything was constantly, you know, being pumped full of blood and working out. I, you know, I was obsessed, right? That was just the way it was when I was competing. But the fact is, is that uh, there were guys that I trained with that looked really unbelievable and they would train really hard for about six months at a time or seven months at a time. And then they take two or three months off because they just get distracted. It was summertime and they'd be running after girls or doing whatever they're doing, right? And then they go back into the gym and then they train. It was like, and any gains that they lost or any pump that they lost, that would just come right back right away. So at some point I started to notice they're actually getting some sort of benefit. You know, I was training all the time. And then I was noticing these guys were getting a benefit from taking a good month or two off and just totally changing priorities. Some of them got busy with school. Some of them got busy with work. Uh, some of them got busy just with leisure activities, you know, but the fact is is that There can be a benefit sometimes if you listen to your body. Maybe your body does need the rest Maybe your body does need to recuperate in a deeper level and then when you train your results will be better So again, this is an experiment you can conduct with yourself in a C But I would say there is no absolute right in this or wrong I, I would say it just depends on you and how you respond to training So yeah, I hope this answers your question at least a little bit and uh, let me know how your training goes and uh, start experimenting and actually feel free to share it with all the viewers in the comments down below because I think everybody will get a benefit from seeing what other people's experiences are and how they're responding to the training. All right, thanks for listening. Take care for now. Do it your way. Now you know my name, calling me in a drought. I came to Ridge in 215 and sorted it all out.